A man buys rupees 50 shares in a company which pays 10% dividend. If the man gets 12.5% on his investment, at what price did he buy the shares? So the man gets 12.5% on his investment. So I can say that the rate of interest, that is the interest percentage is 12.5. So 12.5 is equal to now, what is the formula for interest? And that's the gain upon the investment, right? And because this is a percentage, we multiply it by 100. Now, what do we want here? We want the price at which the man bought the shares. That means the market price of one share. So, I can say that this can be modified, this formula can be modified to, you know, I can write this as gain on one share upon investment on one share isn't it now what is gain gain is basically the dividend right and how is dividend calculated well dividend is calculated on the face value and we have been given the face value of the shares that's rupees 50 so dividend is 10 percent so i can say that dividend on one share is equals to 10% that is 10 by 100 of the face value times 50 right so 5 times 2 is 10 and 10 by 2 is 5 so the dividend is 5 rupees that means the gain on one share is 5 rupees right let us put that here so I have 12.5 is equals to gain is 5 times 100 divided by investment on one share is the market value so that is BMV so MV that is what we have to find is equal to 500 by 12.5 right and that will come out as 40 rupees so the price at which the man bought the shares is 40 rupees and that is option B 9800 rupees are invested partly in 9% stock at 75 and 10% stock at 80 to have equal amounts of incomes what is the investment in 9% stock? So we have 9% stock at 75 and we have 10% stock at 80. Let us say that the amount invested in the 9% stock is X rupees, right? So the amount invested in 10% stock will be the total amount invested minus X. So 9800 minus X, right? Now let us calculate the number of stocks required to be purchased, right? So N here is equal to the total investment upon investment on one stock. That is the total investment upon the market price, the market value of one stock that is 75. So X by 75 is the number of um, shares in 9% stock and the number of shares in 10% stock will be equals to, I have 9800 minus X upon 80 right 80 is the market value now let us calculate the dividend in each case so in 9% stock the dividend will be equals to in this case I'm talking the total dividend so the dividend total dividend will be equal to the dividend on one stock times the number of stocks right so n times dividend on one stock n is x by 75 times the dividend on one stock so 9 is the dividend that is obtained on the face value of 100 rupees so times 9 right here the dividend will be equals to 9800 minus x divided by 80 times the dividend is 10 on rupees 100 face value so times 10 right now it is said that you know the income from both of these various stocks should be same that is the amount of income should be equal so I can equate these so I have 9 by 75 times X is equals to I have 10 by 80 times 9800 minus X right now if you solve this complete equation which I'm not going to solve to save time you'll get the value of X as 5000 right and that was the amount that was invested in the 9% stock so the answer is option B
A invested some money in 10% stock at 96. If B wants to invest in an equally good 12% stock, he must purchase a stock worth of how much rupees? So we want to determine what should be the market value of this 12% stock. So if we talk about A and consider the face value of one stock is 100 rupees, I can say that the income is 10 because the dividend is 10% and the investment is 96 because the market value of the 10% stock is 96, right? Now in case of B, the face value, if we consider it as 100 to match that of A, the income is 12, right? Now if this 12% stock must be equally good as the 10% stock, what should be the investment, right? So this becomes directly proportional. So I can say that the 12% stock is as good as 10% stock if we calculate an appropriate value of x. So I can cross multiply and equate. I get x times 10 is equals to 96 times 12, right? So x is equals to 96 times 12 by 10, isn't it? And 96 times 12 is 1152. So the market value of the stock of 12% is basically 115.2 rupees. So the answer is option B.